بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ڈی سی ٹی وی یو ایس اے اینڈ ڈی ٹی وی این این آئی ایم تابندہ گل لیٹس ٹیک اے لک ایٹ دا ہیڈ لائنس ایرانس بیلسٹک میزائل اسٹرائک آن اسرائیل اسپارک ٹینشنس نیتن یاہو وولفس ریٹیلیشنس پینٹاگون ریسپونس ٹو ایرانین میزائل اسٹرائک آن اسرائیل جرنل پیٹ رائڈر ایڈریس یو ایس اسٹینس وائٹ ہاؤس ریسپونس ٹو ایرانین میزائل اٹیک آن اسرائیل ہریکین ہلینس لیوس ہنڈریڈ اسٹرینٹ ان نارتھ کیرولینا اسرائیل پلانس میجر ملٹری آپریشنس اگینس حزب اللہ ان لیبنان ٹینشن ایسکولیٹ آفٹر میزائل اسٹرائکس پوسٹ ڈپیٹ ری ایکشنس فرام وی پی نامنیز ٹم والس اینڈ جے ڈی وینس کیمپینس ہائی لائٹس کی پالیسی ڈیوائڈس سی ای او ہیلتھ ڈاکٹر کاشف کیمبو لانچز چائلڈ امیونائزیشن کیمپینس ان ٹوبا ٹیک سنگھ کریک ڈاؤن آن ان لیگل پیسٹیسائڈس ان فیصل آباد اینڈ ٹو اکیوز اریسٹڈ آف الیچ ریپ دیز آر ہیڈ لائنس لیڈ ٹو نیوز ڈیٹیل In a major escalation, Iran has fired ballistic missile at Israel, dramatically highlighting concerns of a broader conflict in the region. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu addressed the nation, stating, Iran made a big mistake tonight and it will pay for it. Netanyahu's remarks came at the beginning of an urgent political security meeting. The missile strikes have intensified fears of the wider war. as both nations stand on high alert. Further development are expected as global leaders call for restraint amid growing international concern. <laughs> Pentagon responds to Iranian missile strike on Israel, Journal Pat Ryder addresses U.S. stance. In response to Iran's ballistic missile attack on Israel, Pentagon Press Secretary Major General Pat Ryder held a critical briefing today. The missile strike is believed to be in retaliation for Israel's ongoing military campaigns against Tehran Hezbollah's allies in Lebanon. General Rydell addressed the situation, stating that the U.S. is closely monitoring developments in the region and reaffirming America's commitment to Israel's security. As tensions rise, the Pentagon has not detailed specific actions but emphasized its readiness to respond to further escalation. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean Perrier held a briefing today addressing two major crises following Iran's ballistic missile attack on Israel in response to Israel's actions against Hezbollah in Lebanon. Jean Perrier emphasized that the U.S. is working with international partners to de-escalate tensions in the region while maintaining its supports for Israel's defense. In a separate update, Jean Perrier confirmed that search and rescue operations have resumed in North Carolina after Hurricane Helene caused widespread flooding, leaving hundreds stranded due to washed-out road and damaged cell phone towers. The federal government is coordinating relief efforts in the affected areas. In the wake of Iran's missile attack on Israel, Israeli military spokesman Daniel Hagari announced an impending military operation targeting Hezbollah strongholds in Lebanon. The operation involving commando and paratroop units aims to neutralize threat to Israeli civilians living near the northern border. Hagari stated that Israel will not tolerate Hezbollah's action which pose a direct danger to its citizen. As the situation intensifies fears of a broader conflict grow with both Israel and Hezbollah preparing for potential confrontations in the coming days. Vice Presidential Debate Representative for Democratic nominees Tim Walls and Republican nominees J.D. Vance delivered their post-debate remarks. Walls team emphasized his commitment to strengthening health care and uniting the nations, while Vance Camp focused on reducing government expanding and bolstering national security. Both campaigns claimed victory in the debate, which showcased a stark difference in policy approaches. With the election nearing, both candidates are now aiming to solidify support among key voter demographic in the final weeks of the race.
October Tech Singh CEO held Dr. Kashif Kambu inaugurated a district wide immunizations campaign targeting children from birth to 2 years old to prevent epidemic diseases. The campaigns running from October 1st to 31st aims to vaccinate 8296 children across 85 union councils involving 130 vaccinator and support staff. The initiative is part of the global big catch-up to reach children who miss immunizations during COVID-19. Parents are urged to ensure their children complete the course to safeguard against preventable diseases. Director of Agriculture Paste Warning Israr Arshid has announced a crackdown on the sale of fake and substandard pesticides. So far, 3,000 kg and 475 liters of illegal pesticide worth over 5 million rupees have been seized, with 28 FIRS registers. The operations aligns with Punjab Chief Minister Maryam Nawaz's visions to eliminate illegal pesticide sales across the divisions. Alleged rape of a 17 years old girl in Musawal area of Sadar Park Patan police stations. Police arrested two name accused case registers. Abrar's alleged abused while the co excuse as a capped guarding. Notice of the incident from DPU Park Patan Tariq Vilayat. DPU ordered the police to take immediate actions and arrest the accused immediately. Park Patan Police Station Sadar registers a case against two name accused in the complaint of the victim's girl's father Iqbal and arrested the alleged raped accused Abrars and his co accused Azhar. DPU Park Patan Tariq Vilay said that according to the vision of Punjab Chief Minister Maryam Nawaz, the protection of women is the first priority of Park Patan Police. Strict legal action should be taken against the accused involved the crimes against women and they will be truly punished. This is me, Tabinda, signing off. Stay tuned for more news, DCTV USA, DTVNN and our OTT platform, DTV Flix, where you can access 3000 channels. So stay tuned and stay with us.